Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Sarah Jane from Misunderstood. Now today I'm going to talk about the way the ADHD brain works. It's a very contradictory and inconsistent disorder that can be extremely overwhelming for people who live with it. Now within the criteria for a diagnosis of ADHD, there are 18 symptoms listed in the diagnostic manual and over 100 traits. No wonder it's such a misunderstood disorder. I think the title is also misleading because it states attention deficit but those with ADHD can pay attention. They just struggle to regulate it. Now, most people are able to work out what's important and get themselves motivated to carry out a task, even if they find the task boring and it doesn't interest them. They still get the task done. So why is it so difficult for someone with ADHD to be able to stick to a task if they find it boring? What is happening in the brain of someone with ADHD? Well, there are millions of cells packed into various parts of the brain. Each part is responsible for a particular function. Some parts interact with our external world, interpreting vision or hearing. Other parts interact with our internal world, the function of our organs. Now, for these parts to do their jobs, they must link up and carry information from one region to another. Information is transmitted along these pathways from what's called neuro neurotransmitters. Each neuron produces tiny quantities of a specific neurotransmitter which is released into the tiniest of space that exists between the neurons. That, that's called a synapse. Now this stimulates the next cell in the pathway. People with ADHD don't release enough neurotransmitters or may release and reload them too quickly before a connection is made. So message, messages can't get to where they need to go. But this is often why those with ADHD really struggle with things like listening concentrating and completing work on time. Now, through extensive research, they now know there are four parts of the brain that are affected by ADHD. The frontal cortex, which orchestrates your executive functioning skills. The limbic system, which regulates your emotions. The basal ganglia, which is the part where information from all regions of the brain enters and is then relayed to the correct sites in the brain. Now, a deficiency in the basal ganglia can cause information to short circuit, resulting in inattention or impulsivity. Then we have the rectacular activating system. A deficiency in the RAS can also impulsivity and hyperactivity. Now, these four regions interact with one another. So a deficiency in one region may cause a problem in one or more of the other areas. This is the reason why there are many different medications for people with ADHD. Remember what I said in the beginning, there are 18 symptoms listed in the diagnostic manual and over 100 traits. Thank you for listening, I hope you've understood what I've said today. Any questions then you can contact me on the Facebook or through the website. Also subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be notified of any new videos. Thank you, bye.